the morning of the poem. Bonjour, madame, I am the Marcel Proust of toast and jam, orange juice, honeydew melon, oatmeal, the Irish kind, coffee and the news. I'd like to share a pipe with Baudelaire, you could be my 19th century dandy dude, typing pseudo-symbolism, something meaning something doesn't mean a thing at all, I've searched. The collected William Carlos Williams for something called the poison line. A short and seemingly senseless, are you sure we shouldn't just go to church? No siree, Bob, who has the time to obtain an antidote? What's your problem? I'm a lousy poet with no talent, no innate love of words nor sense of how the words themselves constantly. That's the poem. But today, this morning, a breakthrough, awakening at six, six thirty to the fresh, faint smell of rain. Rain, rain, if I were younger, I'd have run outside, naked as a snake, my hair full of prell, my mouth agape, my heart pit a patting the artists, your determination, I make myself sound like a dirty old man. A hound, always on the sniff, sitting in this Hitchcock chair, idly pulling my foreskin. Imagine an office building straight from Babylon, businessmen busy, busy, sucking each other off in cave-like cubicles. The neighbors, children and grandchildren, visiting, gathering rocks to stone me. I'm very brave. A shovel full of earth is thrown into a grave and rattles on the coffin. Death and rebirth, do you often experience deja vu, jingle jangle? Here's the story of our first acquaintance. We went paddling, bare ass, in a brook. Way back when, your live handsomeness mixed in my mind with beads and a dangling crucifix. You said, I'm sorry. Writing goes by so fast a couple hours of concentration then you're spent comrades leave me read my times <laughs>